Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, radiant celestial earth angels of our galactic alliance of light. Our local Solaris continues to release a barrage of solar flares and CMEs, with 5M class flares and another major X1 class flare today at 2245 UTC. Yesterday's massive X class flare jerked Mother Earth's magnetic field with a phenomenon known as the magnetic crochet. Radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a quick motion that shook the field. This has caused a massive shift in the timeline into the lines and grids of the abundance and prosperity paradigm to uplift the spirits of humanity, to continue to hold the timeline of peace and harmony for all sentient beings of the way. Gaia and all her children of the sun together are moving through the transformations of cosmic proportions to live from the Buddha mind of enlightenment and forge the way for a brighter day for all of humanity. As Shakti dances with Shiva through the cosmos, the eagle flies with the condor to usher in the new age of divine union in Heros Gamos, to heal all relationships and the sacred lands of Pachamama and manifest the new Eden upon earth. This is a time the myth of freedom of the Edenic timeline is made real through eternal bliss consciousness, never to fall into the dream of forgetfulness again. We are in the final transitions from the old bronze 3D Piscean age into the new Aquarian golden 5D age of timelessness and eternal life. The programs of suffering and separation are transforming into love and unity as we step over the threshold into the full manifestation of our kingdom of heaven on earth, the merging of the fifth dimension in this now, a whole. Welcome, beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release some very powerful codes. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 5 degrees, 7 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 20 degrees, 33 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 21 degrees Capricorn, a relay race. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 6 degrees Virgo, a merry-go-round. From astrologyweekly.com And today from Divine Brothra of the Light, Roberto Nunez. The most you can do right now is believe in yourself no matter what seems to be happening. Everything is unfolding in your favor. 1001, abundance has opened for you. Get ready to receive an overflow of success, love, healing, and prosperity. 222, things will turn around in your favor. The people who were against you will suddenly be in your favor. Ideas, creativity, contracts will reach your hands. It's happening. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maria Charlotte, Radiant and Lightning Day to you, beloved one. We are continuously blasted with and showered in super powerful light frequencies and energies to assist us with and speed up our ascension process. We are becoming, we are shifting, changing and transforming as our ability and capacity to hold more light in our bodies increases we might feel very strange and uncomfortable at times, but this too shall pass, and it will be so worth it. We are rising to our full glory and love and light. We are sprouting, budding, blossoming, and blooming, each in our own way and according to our own timetable and divine soul blueprint. We are indeed living in beautiful and miraculous times. Blessed be endless love and wondrous elevation to you. Namaste. And from Divine Brothra of the Light Pars Kute, 
In our journey, there will be in-between times of transition. We may feel lost, confused, angry, unseen, or empty. Do not confuse these times of transition as a forever state of being or being broken. We are breaking away from what was, creating space to welcome what will be. Within divine love of one, pars kute. And from divine sister of the light, Patty Pooley Boyer. Very strong energy began an hour ago. Be prepared for the unexpected and blocks to shift. Gaia is ramping up and us with it. Grounding, hydrating, and keeping the body open is recommended, that is, legs and arms uncrossed. Main areas felt are the throat, crown, and higher chakras. You may also feel the oral chakras above the ears, third eye, temples, and rare chakras of the throat and head opening. Moving into your heart space and allowing all energies to leave your being that no longer serve your highest and best good is the name of the game. Angst, anger, withheld grief, withheld words. We are here now, right now. Let go of attachment to all and any suffering. All is transforming and lessons of old are dissolving. Your soul has higher plans for you and beyond the life you have lived, cogs are turning. Go with the flow of whatever is. Inner self-surrender, devotion and reverence to the supreme Shakti. And from divine broth or of the light, Holger Kirchhoff, clarion call. The quantum truth system is in place and is ready for all awakened human angels through their pure energy and divine frequency to light up the way for dream team humanity back home in their sacred heart as one to be started with reunion of twin souls and soul families. Follow your sacred heart to feel and see this is your divine reality. And from divine sister of the light, Akash Ra, Azurite. Galactic jump, galactic gateways. Get ready to jump galactic style. Massive collectives, 7D through 12D multidimensional galactic center quantum jump. Massive multiverses stargate jumping until January 17th. 444 Phoenix Soul Cycle Ego Deaths. 623 Starseed Phoenix Sun Cycle Galactic Ego Deaths. 1111 New Beginnings Galactic New Consciousness. 555 Collectives Massive Quantum Jump Timelines Collapses. 777 New Consciousness New Co Creations. 888 Infinity Gridwork Remembrance Unity Consciousness Templates. 1133 New Super Quantum Human Crystalline Systems new light bodies, new Merkaba bodies, upgrades, remember to journal your new co-creations, new human divine consciousness desires, what are you calling forth, what new awesome galactic passageways are calling in starseeds, what divine new human blueprints, light codes are you sharing, anchoring in starseeds and white lighters, we love you galactic cosmic heart lightship community. From Starseed Evolution United .net. and from Divine Bro Throw of the Light Rick Jewers. As a result of a combination of the Divine Feminine advancing forward in her womb creator space and the divine intent to open more heart chakras upon the planet, more divine masculine are doing so. As the divine feminine continues forward to the higher highs in this ascension process. The Divine Masculine must follow being upgraded to the new levels of love along the way. The Divine Mother is the dominant creator in this dimension to take it forward and the prominent Divine Timelines levels are born through her. There are many Divine Mother representatives of Divine Spirit upon the planet in this now to facilitate the continuous birthing of new energetic timelines in alignment with the overall planetary ascension. The recent creation state achieved by certain Divine Mother Feminine in the womb area is a purified energetic sacred space from hence the purest creation comes. 
It is absolute for the Divine Feminine to keep the energetic womb space clear of contaminating energy and influence to this area of the physical vessel. The creation space will feel like an open neutral universe in the womb from which to create by using the root chakra energy as the catalyst to fuel the creation energy into the present reality equipped with the ascension forward commands. As more of the divine masculine are activated as well as further empowered in the heart chakra, this divine masculine love fertilizes the intended higher timelines and sustain the creation efforts of the Divine Mother Feminine. The Divine Commands were integrated into the timelines a few linear months ago to facilitate the expansion of the Divine Masculine Heart Chakra activations and openings. These seeds are now germinating. Anchor into the physical vessel of Gaia, the planet, access love and any oversaturation of light energy, you may have that is too much for your physical vessel at this time. Keep the highest amount of this energy within your being to create upward dimensional lift, the rapture. Love and light, Rick Jewers. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Raylene Brady. The divinity held in nature is our one true guide. There is a place for everyone on omnidimensional earth. No one is ever forsaken. Beyond the idea of death or birth, we have our precious free will and it continues to shock and astound. Yet as minute as this is, coupled with our love power, wisdom triuning, our grace and godhood abounds. Held within each and every one of us by grand design are the keys to the kingdom, beyond any and all falsity systems. Therefore the gateways you seek are totally extended to thee. Simply observing this dismembered parts in the field has the individual remembering in the capacity as an enthroned turnkey, worlds within worlds, lesser and greater evolutionary cycles within cycles, vibrating in our quintessence. Nothing is ever really recycled, upcycled, spiraling an upward and downward trajectory. Yet as observers of it all, bearing witness to the God Source codices as a rich treasury above and beyond random access memory. Nothing is new under the sun, we are all homespun, and so the journey of self unto self continues. Rise and shine, Raylene Brady. From Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, January 10th, 2023, Plutonium and Uranium. As we are aligning, purifying, and embodying the diamond cell, our multidimensional living vessel is also being activated in a new way. Through the tree of life we have access in all the different realms of the system. Having again access to all the realms gives us the chance to further understand their different natures from a neutral position, and most importantly, how we are connected to them and under which conditions and how we can proceed into liberating ourselves from possible pending deceptions, limitations, and previous bindings. Message, the time is coming fast in which you are to take back what is truly yours according to natural law. That which was stolen and taken from you because of what took place during the fall and was used as power by the snake. The snake's power was always your own power, not its own. Only what is true will stand. Everything else is leaving forever. Blessings of trust in the true self. Eri Ni. And from divine Brother of the Light, Seraph Knight. Harmonic Convergence 2023 and beyond. As we continue together united, there is a harmonic convergence happening for humanity. To understand this concept, understand that energy flows, we are energy in flow. There is a monumental harmonic convergence of source energy, light, flowing through our physicality and our neural pathways are being rewired. New neural pathways are being formed to bring forth untapped powers that are available as we assimilate these over time. As we converge both sides of masculine and feminine energy within us, our physicality, we transfigure into higher vibration and frequencies of light. 
in our physicality, it is true we have a mind and a choice. How much free will do we have? The subconscious mind holds a varying degree of programs, experiences from the human experience we choose to embody the light and remove unnecessary barriers from the subconscious to embody the full convergence of energy that is forming through our physicality and our narrow pathways. Or not, it's depending upon each individual's level of consciousness and aligning within them or if this is their journey. You see, our DNA encoding blueprint template is also transforming and metamorphing as well as more DNA strands are being created and reformed from eons ago. As we morph, we open up more transmitter pathways to open further to the divine intelligence of what we already hold. This is a phenomenal metamorphosis in our physicality, transfiguring, converging into one unified sentient being within ourselves, never requiring anything other than ourselves. We become crystalline diamond structures embodying light codes to further embody the wisdom and knowledge of the ages and Akashic records that we hold in the very essence of our DNA blueprint, also transforming into pure source energy embodying all that we have been and all we already are. This is a process to say the least, but as we transcend the old physical body, we transform into a pure divine state of being. This is what is happening, so to say clearly as we merge our mind with our energetic heart and soul. The phenomenal possibilities are infinite for what we are able to create once we integrate and merge all our bodies together as one, emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, and energetic. We are all at different stages of consciousness, and this process is ongoing. For many, this will unfold in their own divine timing, dependent on what they have chosen to experience here, both in the physical and spiritual context of the human experience. Sending unconditional love to you all, Light Family, as we continue to rise into the highest vibration of unconditional love and peace for all humanity. In the divine remembrance of who we are, Seraph Knight, and from divine sister of the light, Karen Lithica, holographic reality, the Arcturians, we ask you to feel beyond the vibrational ripples of your world, to reach the holographic light streams of infinite light particles, systematically and vibrationally created to form your world, chemical light codes energetically magnetized together forming unique signatures of light, to find the highest light of integrating and reaching true alignment amongst the emotional tapestry of your world, we ask you to continue and stay aligned to the highest light stream, for the light tapestry of your construct is an ever-expanding stream of light. Know you are a wonderful, shining light. As your world continues to awaken, adapt, and shine, the evolutionary process of change and awakening. Love your day, Global Light Family, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. Go within and receive the communication from your spirit revealing the truth. The understanding you are receiving is providing a clear perspective of where the hidden cracks have been. This may have happened through forcing results that aren't meant to be your outcome, creating an energetic deficit. Letting go of these plans will provide access to harnessing your life force energy and focus on your own light. Doing so will help you see what is real and what is fear-based, so you can shift necessary thought patterns. God is guiding us through wisdom to make healthier choices right now for your transformation. He wants to begin your new mission with Him. Choosing this path will help complete your life lessons, upgrades, and recover to begin this new path with the Most High. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godco.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects, the skies are quiet. The moon bounds through Leo where there is a need for attention, recognition, sovereignty. In this sun-ruled sign, we're drawn to 
what brings us a sense of life and light. Hobbies, dating, creativity, time well spent with our children. However, as Luna opposes Saturn, we're brought up short. Responsibilities weigh us down. Life asks us to prioritize, define, manage, adult, but we don't want to. The inner child kicks up a storm and there is resistance, a sulk, a demoralized slump. It feels like an eternal Monday. Perhaps we just need to make time for work and play. The mood passes and the moon shifts our attention to the little things in life. Clear away clutter, exercise or take a walk, drink water, organize, devise routines that create efficiency. Most importantly, stop worrying and start working. Support your inner child by cultivating a mindset of productivity and can-do attitude. Hone your skills. Success is built from the small tasks you do every day. Life's tapestry is created one stitch at a time. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 237, read Electric Earth. Electric is the name for the number three and its keywords are activate, service, and bond. The third day of a wave spell activates the energy and really gives things a boost. These days are great for getting things done, but are seldom relaxing. Use this electric energy to your advantage, or beware of getting a shock. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. We are all evolving all the time, although it can be indiscernible as it happens slowly, unconsciously, and subtly. As we grow older, it is easy to look back and see how we have grown up, softened, matured. But while we go through the process, it's so hard to see it. You are a work in progress. Today also has great potential for synchronicity. Be in the right place at the right time, and you will get what you need to evolve. The red earth is like a signpost pointing the way to go. Great if you have been feeling a little lost lately. This energy can be very encouraging, and you may find yourself today impatient for improvement in your life as the number three is energizing. Don't waste the opportunity. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. 22-22 coming in. Red Electric Earth, 3 Caban, Keen 237, 37 into the 73, Heaven on Earth. 10th of January 2023, activating evolution, navigating a new path of service. 10 1 2023 equal 117 equal 18 equal 9. Day codes 10 manifestation, power, authority. 1 new beginnings, original, unique leader. 9 endings, completion, destiny, mission, service, humanity. Month year codes. 1. 7. Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. 8. Infinite Abundance, Source Flow. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. 1 through 9. Alpha to Omega, Beginnings and Endings. King 237 equal 12 equal 3. Holy Trinity. Keen 237 reopens the portal to the 88 Lions Gate portal 18 months ago. Today we are revisiting this coronation through the wormhole in galactic time. It seems we will all be gifted with greater wisdom today as we receive a royal crowning. With our crown chakras super activated with electric solar energy currents, our heart, throat, and third eye will all be super boosted too as we awaken to our full divine presence. A beautiful heavenly alignment of brilliant codes for our starseed coronation. Dear ones, it is time to take your place as messengers of the divine on the heavenly throne. Day three in the blue eagle wave spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity so that we can create it, envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening and upgrade for humanity. What a beautiful alignment having the majestic far-seeing blue eagle overseeing this wondrous day. 
Another gift from the gods giving us the power to see far into the future and activate our highest and best outcome. Today we are navigating our way through the signs in order to birth our soul's higher path of service to Gaia and humanity. Tone of creation, today's tone is electric. We have an incredible surge of power to kickstart and drive our divine missions and activate spontaneous awakening in our global populace. Awakening to the big picture. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Thus there is a very strong emotional charge today which may create outbursts in those who need to find their balance. Electric energy creates a short fuse, particularly in those souls that are confused or not focused on their divine missions. Through focus, these strong energies can be creatively utilized rather than being destructive or chaotic. This energy can be better harvested through the higher aspects of this tone, which encompass being of service to others through the action of bonding, that is, coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are birthing today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon, the power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. Electric energy has a very high emotional charge, so make sure you ground this energy. Channel any access into your Mother Earth for recycling, otherwise it can build up stressing your nervous system and result in emotional flare-ups, arguments, and burnout. Today you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and awaken others through your acts of divine service. A highly charged day to rocket fuel our collective mission. Hold the vision of all humanity awakening to the big picture for our planet through this portal. We are all one family and through unity consciousness and remembrance of our divinity and connection to all that is, we can finally accomplish peace and harmony on our beautiful blue and green gem of a planet. Aho, and so it is. Today's questions are, in which direction are the signs guiding me to birth my divine mission in order to fulfill my highest vision for my soul's evolution on this planet? Am I in divine alignment with the future direction for planet Earth? Divine blessings on our collective awakening as we fly through this magical gateway. Follow the signs to paradise. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 237, Red Electric Earth. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to evolve. Bonding synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation with the electric tone of service. I am guided by the power of birth. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Nicole Jackson, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. 
If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Or if you'd like to send cash or check, you can do so to our P.O. box, also in the description below. I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light Peaceful Heart for another super thanks donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Divine Brother of the Light, Li Parare, Gene Power, Transmutation, Consciousness, Programmable, Light Matter, Three Strand DNA, Double Helix, Non Vibratory, Third Strand, Tree of Life, Souls Remote View, Now Probable Future, Klein Horned Taurus, Mirror Feedback, Alchemy Loop, Encryption Elements, Periodic Wave Notes, Perfect Fifths, Major Thirds, Base Nine Math Spiral, Golden Curve, Royal Cubit Light Arc, Father Mother, Eternal Child, Continuum, Intelligence Nature, Matrix Information, Holodeck Simulation, Quantum Entanglement, Projection, Book of Life, Dream Within Dream, Genie in a Bottle, Tinkering with Time, Interfaced Position, Perception Lens, Higher Self, Soul Spark, Imperial Decimal DNA, Five and Six Foundation Life, Doubling Frequency, Consciousness Power, Manifestation Lattice, One to Many to One, Solomon's Temple, Phoenix Flame, Unify Truth, Golden Ocean, Sentient Being, Stargate Key, Vibrate Inner. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed day tomorrow, which is a very sacred, powerful portal of 111223. Trinity codes encoded within this date, this most powerful portal of the month. Continue to anchor in this higher light coming in from the great central sun and through our local Solaris and deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.